All right. So today, let's talk about one of the most popular features of the ArcGIS platform, and that's routing, right? So if you go to developers.arcgis.com, uh, under documentation, you're going to find a doc on finding routes and directions. Now, the example you see here, right when you open the page, this is going to be using the directions widget out of the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. Definitely something I would recommend if you're just getting started. It's a great tool that you can use to find um, directions between multiple places, and it'll go and list those directions out for you here. However, you might want to just use the routing in your application without the widget. So let's take a look at how you would do that. So I've already got my application set up here. I've got my API key. I'm using the navigation base map from the platform. And I want to go ahead and I want to manually do some routing. So what I want to do is I want to click on the map to create my origin location. And the second time I click on the map, I want to have a destination location and then run the routing tool to go ahead and get the route between those two points. So let me go ahead and get started and we can see how you might want to do that. So I'm going to need to import a few more things here. I want to import a graphic from uh, ArcGIS Core Graphic. I want to um, import the route tool. Import, and I'm actually going to import a method from the route tool. So the ArcGIS Core REST route exposes a method called solve. And this is so that you can solve a route given certain parameters. So I'm going to want to import those uh, route parameters as well. So import route parameters from ArcGIS Core support route parameters. There we go. Make this a little smaller, just a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and import a feature set because I'm going to need a feature set as well, and you'll see why in a moment. Okay, perfect. So, this is everything I'm going to need to be able to do the routing inside of my application. All right, so one thing I'm going to need in my application is I need the route URL that I want to use. So, I'm going to create a const route URL. This can be equal to the URL for routing that is part of the ArcGIS platform. So I'll just use that default one. And then what I want to do is I need a couple of uh, helper functions here to do some stuff for me. So let me go ahead and get rid of this uh, view.when there. Let's create a function called add graphic. This graphic is gonna take uh, a type so it could be either the origin or destination and then the geometry and the geometry will be the point itself so what i want to do is i want to create a new graphic and this graphic is going to have uh the geometry that i'm passing to it i also need a symbol and for our case what we're going to do is just make it a simple marker symbol so type simple marker And then what I want to do is that the color is going to be dependent on the type that comes through. So if the type is equal to origin, then I want to go ahead and make it a uh, blue color. But if it's a uh, destination, then we'll just go ahead and make that red. And the size, let's go ahead and make the size... Uh, 10 pixels. That sounds pretty good to me. So we're going to go ahead now and return that graphic. Awesome. So that's my add graphic helper method. And let's go ahead and create a method for when I click on the view itself. Right? So we do view.on. And it's just going to listen for a click event. And a click event will also return a property on the event called map point. Now I'm going to use that map point to display some geometry. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and say that uh, if... So the logic here is that if I've already got a graphic, uh, or if I don't have any graphics on the page, right? So if there are no graphics, so view.graphics.view.on. 
dot length. So if there's no graphics currently in the uh, collection, so if there is no uh, graphic in there, I can go ahead and say that view dot graphics dot add, and then call the add graphic method, pass the origin type, and then pass the map point as my geometry. Perfect. Else, if the um, view dot graphics dot length is equal to just one, then I know I already have my origin point in there. So I can go ahead and pass pretty much uh, just copy this. But in this case, it's going to be the destination. And we'll also have a, uh, a default in here so that um, if there's more than one, then we want to pretty much just start over. So I'm going to call view.graphics.removeAll. And then we're going to treat it like it was the first point again. So let's go ahead and copy that again. And we're going to add that origin point. Perfect. So let's go ahead and run this just real quick and see what it's going to look like. So I come over here. I should my first point here as my blue point. Click another point, and that's my red point. At this point, we can go ahead and add logic to find the route between these two locations. So to do this, I'm going to add a little helper method called getRoute. And we're going to make this async function. So we're going to be doing some asynchronous calls in here. And get route is going to create a route params using the route parameters. And for the route parameters, we're actually going to take an argument here called stops. Let's just go ahead and close this up like so. And There we go. Those are our stops. Now we actually want to um, go ahead and do the route, right? So we're going to say that um, const and the property that we get back the result is going to have a property called route results on it. So I can just destructure that is going to be equal to await doll pass the route URL and the route params. There we go. Now I can go ahead and take those results and iterate over them. Let's just do a for each is fine. And we're going to take our result. And we want to uh, give a symbol to this result. So it's going to be a result that's going to have the um, polylines to define the actual route itself. So it's called route and it's given a symbol. And it's just going to be a simple line. So type simple line and let's just give it a, a blue color in RGB value. So five, 150 to 55. And let's give it a width of three. And when we do that, let's go ahead and add this result to the view graphics. So view.graphics.add the result.route. And there we go. So now we actually need to call get route. So how are we going to do that? So what we want to do is that we're going to do it on the uh, click event. We're going to do it as soon as we add the second point, which would be our destination point. But we need to create uh, the stops that we're going to send over to it. And that's going to be a stops are going to be a feature set. So we're going to say const stops equal to a new feature set. And that features is going to be an array of the graphics. So we're going to take the graphics that are already, uh, that we've been adding all the graphics to. But we're going to convert it to an array. Remember I mentioned these are collections. So we want to just convert them to a native array. And then we're going to go ahead and call the function get route and pass it the stops. There we go. So let's try this out now. So if I come down over here, 
Yeah, let's say I draw, uh, I drop a point over the middle of LA, and I want to get directions down to Anaheim, and it's going to go ahead and give us our route. Now, if I click on the map again from somewhere in LA, and then try and get some directions to, uh, let's say, uh, Reseda, and it goes ahead and it's going to add the route to the page for us. Now, this is just the beginning of what you can do with the uh, routing service as part of the ArcGIS platform. You can also tell it to give you the directions. So if you want to manually handle showing the directions yourself instead of using the directions widget, you could also do that. But hopefully this has given you a good start to go ahead and get started using the routing service that's part of the ArcGIS platform with the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. Don't forget to comment like and subscribe in this video and let us know if you have any more questions or what else you might want to see. Thank you.